Well, 2020 marks a big year here in the United States for elections and for voters. But just a mere 100 years ago, voting wasn't necessarily available for everybody. And here to talk about a new exhibit at the Greeley History Museum in downtown Greeley, we have our very own Holly Berg, who is the curator of exhibits. Holly, great to have you here again. Thanks, it's so great to be here again. Okay, so this is becoming a habit for you and I to meet here at the museum and talk about some of these great exhibits that you've got going on. So one that has just started up is called Beyond Suffrage, 100 Years of Progress. And this has a little bit to do with the 19th Amendment, but it also has to do with a lot of women here in Weld County. Um, can you give folks an idea of what this exhibit's about and where it ties into that 19th Amendment? Yeah, absolutely. So everybody uh, should hopefully know by now that 2020 marks the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment going into effect. And of course, the 19th Amendment gave women across the country the right to vote. So, but you may not know actually that women in Colorado had the right to vote in 1893, a long time before the 19th Amendment went into effect. So this exhibit not only focuses on the suffrage effort, efforts here in Greeley and statewide, it touches on that a little bit, and we also have little facts about what was happening nationwide, but we also really wanted to emphasize the fact that the 19th Amendment and the right to vote was just a starting point. It wasn't like Colorado women just sat back on their heels after they got the right to vote. They kept going and they broke all kinds of barriers. So with this exhibit, I really wanted to focus on some of the prominent local women in Weld County's history that broke barriers and blazed new trails for all of us to follow. So we have done that. Um, the majority of the exhibit focuses on those trailblazing women. Yeah, and so we were kind of looking around the room when we um, got here today and just looking at some of that history. Um, what's kind of nice about it is that it seems like it goes through a little bit of a chronological order as far as women throughout history. I have a feeling that it was very difficult to pick which women to highlight in this because <laughs> there's so many out there, but there's some great stories here. Can you give us some highlights of some of the women they'll meet? Yeah, you are absolutely right. It was terrible choice to have to pick. We had a whole long list of absolutely spectacular women to choose from, and it was painful to try to get it down to just this many. Um, but we tried to go with a mix of stories you might know and stories you might not know, um, but all of them spectacular in their own right. Um, for example, Minerva Jackson, she was the wife of O.T. Jackson and the co-founder of Deerfield. Um, that was an African-American agricultural community that was about 30 miles east of here um, and had their heyday in, um, right up until the Great Depression. Um, then we also focus a little bit on Dorothy Zabska, mm -hmm. um, Greeley's first and only female mayor to date. Um, yeah, we have her, her likeness back here in a fun little doll made to look like her. Um, and then going around the room, we also have some more modern women too. Um, we did feature women who are still living today, and you can hear snippets of the interviews that we did um, with them, such as Rosaline Muguruka, who works at the Immigrant Refugee Center, and Connie Willis, um, the sci-fi author, and many others. Yeah, so th there's, the list goes on and on, and, and I was actually uh, very impressed. I mean, it, it's inspiring to look at this and to know about these women that are there who have kind of led the way and, as you mentioned, been those trailblazers. Um, for anyone who has not been to the Greeley History Museum, um, can we remind them where it's located and the hours so they can see when they can come down and check this out? Yeah, absolutely. So we are in the old Tribune building, which is at 714 8th Street here in Greeley, Colorado. And we're open Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 4, and Sunday, noon to 4. And you can find all that and more at GreeleyMuseums.com. Okay, and before we head out, I wanted to make sure that we mention that you're also doing um, kind of a mini exhibit, if you will, along with the High Plains Library District. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of an extension of this exhibit, and you can go preview it. It's going to be on tour at all of the branches at HPLD um, throughout the whole year, and they've set up a website just to track it. It's mylibrary.us um, slash suffrage. Yep. 
All right, Holly, thank you so much for meeting with me again and showing me around. This is, this is always a great time because I get to check out all these exhibits and share it with all of our viewers. So thank you again. You're welcome anytime. All right, so that's Beyond Suffrage, 100 Years of Progress here at the Greeley History Museum. Again, for more information about this exhibit and all the other exhibits that they house here, head on over to GreeleyMuseums.com. Thank you.